Hello YouTube. Today I want to do a video about a new shovel that I got that I was really skeptical about when I first ordered it. It's the Motley Field Fox. I was really afraid of it because of the reviews on YouTube by these influencers who probably got these for free. Uh, they did their little two minute, oh, go out in the field, loamy, sandy areas, and cursory cuts in the, in the, in the dirt and called it good. A little background about me. I used to be hardcore metal detectors. Uh, I was a dealer out of four outdoor outfitters, uh, and I sold just basic stuff. Uh, I quit being a dealer probably six to eight years ago. Uh, I couldn't keep up with the bigger dealers. I couldn't offer you spiffs. I couldn't offer you anything but my advice and my experience. Uh, I still get two to five calls a month from the Garrett dealer list. And if Garrett, if you're listening, please take hardcore detectors off your uh, dealer list because I don't want to help anybody anymore. If they're just going to turn around and say, oh, thank you, I'm going to call yada, 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 yada. This, it's not worth it. But back to this shovel. So I spent the 169 by myself on my own money, and I bought it from Sirius Detecting. And I will say this for them. I was really worried when I ordered it that I ordered the wrong color. Uh, I, I made the text or the email to them at... Probably, I think it was 5 or 5.30 in the morning, or a phone call, I'm sorry, I made a phone call. Left it on their customer service line. They said, hey, the, the message was, we'll get back to you around noon when we're in the office. Well, it wasn't uh, 45 minutes later that I had gotten a call uh, from their customer service department saying, oh, don't, don't worry, Mr. Riddle, uh, you ordered right, we've got you ordered. Uh, correct in the system and we are going to get you the right one it is shipping today so thank you serious detecting for that quick customer service uh, i appreciate that so a shout out to them and if you're looking for great customer service i can already recommend them i got the shovel from michigan to wisconsin in uh, two days so back to the shovel i sent an email off to motley really afraid that this was going to be a turd uh, just based off of what I saw on YouTube uh, Motley didn't really explain it right they talked about their experts in designing uh, you know I'm getting older I've had a knee and a hip replacement uh, bending down is not my thing anymore uh, you know I've looked at a lot of different shovels I actually use a lache I've used this now for more than 15 years this was part of my inventory that I kept. Uh, I've used this shovel <laughs> through thick and thin. It's chopped trees, it's chopped roots, it's, it's done everything that I've ever asked it to do uh, with no damage. Uh, only thing I've lost was the paint. You know, with a little bit of rust that you see, I got uh, maybe a month ago when my buddy and I thought we can get through the frost. Uh, in northern Wisconsin but just not enough and I don't even worry about that because when I start using it that'll all be rubbed off with the dirt from my gloves so you can see a size comparison on the blade of the Leche and the Motley and by the way you're overlooking my hunting site that I've shot a lot of big deer on uh, the length in the configuration at the shortest for the motley in its shortest position is the exact same so if you were to look at them you know they're both if your arms were straight down they both just touch the ground so for me the bend over with the leche you know after a hundred holes a day kind of got old with the motley uh, their system is pretty simple. You know, you loosen up the collar, you pop the pin, you slide it out to the length that you want. 
uh, and then you go from there you put your pin back in wherever you want it in the handle and it's it's 28 degrees by the way today uh, you lock up your your handle collar You get it in the right position you lock it up and you go from there I got this shovel and after sending off a dumb email to Motley saying oh if I didn't like it yada yada you don't stand by your warranty it seems like you know you're afraid of somebody using it and breaking it because their warranty disclaimer is for a year and if you break it you bought it blah 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 this shovel is outstanding it matches up to any cold steel, uh, any shovel that you would get uh, hardcore. And my advice to Motley is to market this to overlanding in America. Uh, this would be great to put on a rig out in the desert, out in the mountains, whatever. The shovel's awesome. It's heavy, four pounds. Uh, and one of the first things that I think that I might mod on this is a different type of handle to take off this top section, pull it out and have some other type just to have me this short section when I am digging lots of targets so that I can get to it. But I wanted to do this in frost and in a rocky, uh, a rocky frosted area so that it's not just some nice little park that it's being tested in like you see on YouTube. Uh, it's a hard area. I've not sharpened the blades yet. I will because one thing that I do in my type of hunting is go through the woods and I need the ability to chop limbs as I walk. The serrations don't mean anything to me. I think that it's kind of gimmicky. I don't find roots to be that big of a problem with sharpened blades. This isn't tactical. You're not going to kill somebody. You're not going to throw this and stick it into a tree or a person. You're not fighting. You're not doing all this Kung Fu shit. It's just a shovel. And its purpose uh, is to dig a hole. I don't know if it's going to last in 80 degree, 90 degree weather all day. And you're digging targets. If, you know, if a guy's strong enough to do it all day, well, we'll see. But here's a, just digging some first holes. Two scoops. I got a 10 inch hole. This was intended for farms, for fields, no damage. On these first two digs to the powder coating I'm assuming the powder coating will get a nice patina where your hand is anyways uh, you know if you were to adjust the handle to where you want it for height wise Now you can stand up. Get to the hole and get to it. I mean, I'll do it more of an in-depth review once I get some time on it. But as you can see, there's no damage whatsoever. To the powder coat one thing i can say that might be an issue is on a muddy day these holes might jam up in wet dirt but i would think for loamy sandy just regular dirt you should be able to shake it out and get it to come out this end but i think once you get going in some wet weather uh this is going to load up dry up and you might be able just to pound it 
and break it loose. My expert, for what it's worth, being a nobody in the metal detecting world, would be to take it three quarters of an inch in. That gets rid of some of the weight. If you're gonna keep it as a metal detecting shovel. But Motley, I'm sorry for that email. I was being a little crybaby uh, snowflake. And this is uh, a great shovel. So now I'm gonna have confidence in buying your sand scoop for my water detecting purposes, which I do uh, all summer long in some really hard conditions, hard packed clay, rocks, thing gravel. And after having this shovel, I'm assuming that one was going to be just as well. So uh, if you want to see how this comes when you take it apart, it does fit inside this hole for travel purposes to fit in your pack. Motley has their own video for that. There are other guys out there to talk about it. Uh, but I, my purpose was just to get it out and show you uh, how it works. And let me see if I can just figure out this tree limb here and see if we can get some cutting. I haven't sharpened anything. So the weight and this length is not conducive one-handed to cutting. And it is not sharp, but I think maybe with some work, some sharpening, uh, that this might be okay for that purpose and using two hands. But uh, as far as the cutting go, edge is great, powder coat's great. Uh, Motley, I think this is a home run to the right crowd. Uh, that's just my opinion so far. I'm sure I'll get the haters with, uh, oh, you don't know jack shit, who are you? But you know what they say about opinions, right? We all got them and they're like assholes. So you got mine and that's it, thanks.